So ladies and gentlemen, going over this example, um, I want to make sure I run through this, and I want to make sure I give enough time for this. So the main important thing that when we're doing this problem that we want to make sure we highlight is, again, knowing the explicit formula. a sub n equals um, a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay? But again, we, we don't have any a sub 1 or d. So we need to uh, determine what a sub 1 is, what d is, as well as what the explicit formula is. Well, in this case, remember, we can alter the explicit formula. Instead of using a sub n and n, we could, rewrite, we could use a sub 7 right, and plug 7 in for n. So I'll do a sub 7 equals a sub 1. Instead of using a sub 1, I'm going to use a sub 3. Therefore, if I'm going to replace n with 7, I've got to replace this n with a 7. If I'm going to replace 1 with 3, I have to replace this 1 with a 3. Okay. Now, the reason why I do this, though, is because we know the values of a sub 7, and we know the value of a sub 3. 7 minus 3 is 4d. So now, to solve for d, I subtract 32, and I get negative 40 equals 4d. Divide by 4, divide by 4, negative 10 equals d. Okay. So now we know what negative 10 is. We could count back. We could count back from 32 to get to a sub 1. Or we could also go ahead and take this and go back and use the explicit formula again. And now, now when going back and using an explicit formula, we know what the value of d is, which is negative 10. Now, to find a sub 1, we need to pick a value for a sub n. So we could either use a sub 7, which was equal to negative 8, or we could use a sub 3, which is equal to 32. It doesn't matter which ones you guys want to choose. Does anybody have a sub 3? Okay. So if I use a sub 3, then I'll say a sub 3 equals a sub 1 plus 3 minus 1 times d, which is negative 10. Now, we know what a sub 3 is, which is 32, equals a sub 1 plus 3 times 2, is, 3 minus 1 is 2 times negative 10. 32 equals a sub 1 minus 20 plus 20 equals 52 equals a sub 1. So now we know what a sub 1 is and we know what d is. The last question that they're asking is to identify the explicit formula. So again, we go back to our explicit formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. But now we know what d is and we know what a sub 1 is. a sub n equals a sub 1, which is 52, plus n minus 1 times d, which is negative 10. However, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to simplify, right? You're not going to have an answer on a test that's going to look like this. So we're going to apply distributive property. a sub n equals 52 minus 10, negative 10n plus 10, because negative 10 times negative 1 is positive 10. Then I can combine these, because those are two numbers, and I'll write my term with the variable first. Well, there's three different things I'm asking you to do, OK? And not always.